Hey everyone, welcome to Minecraft Story Mode. This is by Telltale Games, the magnificent minds behind the Game of Thrones series, The Wolf Among Us, and The Walking Dead. These guys are insane, and I really can't wait to see what they have in store for us in this brand new Telltale game. It's I'm a little bit late, I know it's like four or five days since it's released, but bear with me, I really hope that you enjoy this series. Make sure to hit it with a big like, and I'll start this off. Wow, these builds in the background look insane. It really, really makes me want to go and play Minecraft again. Look at all this. This is so cool. Look at them building in the background. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's start this thing off. I really, really wish that Mo Yang would have actually made a story mode for this. Okay, I'm gonna go with this guy. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the Redstone Engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the Architect, Builder of Worlds, and Leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. That's easy. I'll take the, the, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them. Crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I'd need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. 
You brought Ruben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Oh, this is so cool. I never expected it to be like this. Let's have a look around in the mm, chest. Steel, not too shabby. Oh, nice. Okay. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Yeah, that's that's definitely gonna happen. Okay, let's have a little look around this place. It, it's like really like making all my cravings for Minecraft come back. Shears, <laughs> definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. So true. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. His voice is so familiar. I think he's like the fire chief in Brooklyn 99. This stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Oh yeah, definitely. By episode five or six. Is there any more around here? Any more kind of things we need to pick up apart from Reuben? Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. I wish they were all going to be there. Does nothing please you? You have to meet all the members of the super secret, super legendary Order of the Stone? I wasn't saying it wasn't cool. I was just saying that would be cool, too. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. 
Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. Uh, team on three. One, two, three. Team, team. prepare. Oh. It's like a rocky moment right now. This is really, really cool. Look at Ruben. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. This is so much better than I anticipated. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fucking goo. Do it. <laughs> we know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig. Losers. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. The fail squad's here. <laughs> Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa, sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders, you guys are in booth five. Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> You just like slip in between the cutscenes so seamlessly. Alright, let's have a look at the sound. Oh, that's boot two. Can we have a peek in here? Hmm. Nope. I really, really love this. Man, I'm <laughs> crowded. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Walk. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic zombie is, is way cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha! Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Reuben is not food. Could have fooled me. He looks delicious. That sounded like a weird compliment. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. 
And if you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friends some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the EnderCon building competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at EnderCon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Redstone Wrap. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh, crap. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. A fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. <laughs> Look, we just go really, really slow. That's so awesome. And now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool! Whoops. <laughs> oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden. The lava's getting closer. Gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. If you guys want me to continue or start over with a brand new Minecraft Let's Play, then let me know in the comments down below because this really rekindled my uh, love of Minecraft. It's just, it's really just spot on. I, I didn't expect it to be this good. Anyway guys, thank you so much and I'll see you all later.